Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. So for today's video I am doing another home and interiors type video and this one is going to be all about my favourite IKEA purchases and my sort of best buys, must haves when it comes to IKEA storage and organisation stuff because that's definitely my favourite part of IKEA and I love IKEA, I'm a massive fan, we have loads of their stuff throughout our house and we also had loads in our previous house as well so I thought that this would just be a nice video to make because I know that I often get inspired watching videos like this. On that note I was watching my friend Lara's channel and she has done a collab recently with another one of my my YouTube friends Alex and they both did videos very similar to this talking about their favourite IKEA purchases and stuff so I really enjoyed those so I will link both of their videos below because that's actually where I got the inspiration from I didn't want anyone to think that I had thought of this myself I got it from them and I really enjoyed both their videos so I will link them below if you'd like to watch them but if you are new to my channel my name is Katie I post videos three times a week on a Sunday Tuesday and Thursday and I would love it if you would subscribe to my channel if you haven't already done so we are in the middle of a big house renovation so there's going to be lots of home and interior chat on here but I'm just going to get started and share with you my top IKEA purchases my favorite things when it comes to their storage and organization and I think the best thing to do is just walk you through and show you with me talking behind the camera so I'm just going to get started and show you so first up one of my favorite IKEA purchases that we've ever done is the IKEA bestie units which are these units running all along the back wall here and this is our playroom and when we moved in I was really unsure about what to do in terms of toy storage because the playroom is upstairs in our house and it's also kind of a multifunction room because it's also our spare room as well so we wanted somewhere that was fun for the kids but that we could also put as many of the toys away as we could if we we had people stay over and originally I looked at quotes for fitted wardrobes and they were in the thousands and just so expensive so then I started to think about what we could do from Ikea I also looked at the Calax units which I will talk about in a bit because we have got them in other parts of our house and we also had them for our toy storage in our previous house but because we'd already had them I really fancied having something different in this room and that's when I decided on the bester units so I will go in and show you but we just just love them so much so I've run them along the whole length of one wall we were just really lucky that they fit perfectly in this space and then we also have one here as well which has our TV on there too and they come in doubles and I think they also come in singles as well and they might even come in triples they come in all sorts of different sizes and you can really modify them depending on what look you want so I decided I wanted really white you can have them without legs to make the units a little bit shorter and you can also go to companies now which can like get you different legs and different doors so you can completely modify them but they can work out quite expensive so we just stuck with the original legs and went for all white doors. You can get so many different combinations of door from Ikea as well, but we decided on, these were slightly more money than just like a normal white door, but I really like the sort of random like pattern on there, I think it looks really nice. So they are just filled with toy storage, and then what I liked about them was that you can put stuff on the top and sort of make a feature of the room as well, and I really liked that idea. So I will just show you what is inside because there's another one of my favourite IKEA storages inside and that is these boxes. So we have so many of these boxes throughout our house. I want to say they are Kugis maybe, that's the brand, the name, the style of them but I will link to everything that I can below. But they are great, you can get them in all sorts of different sizes and what I've done is I've labelled the kids toys so they know exactly what box contains what and it's just a really good idea they fit perfectly in there and we don't always put the lids on so for example if we have got toys that are a little bit overflowing in the box we don't bother putting the lids on so for example in there we've got their like sort of characters and figures and we've got like some vehicles for my little boy and so they are all in there like that without the lids on but I'm a big fan of those storage boxes. Another thing that we do is because our playroom is upstairs, I often take the boxes down and we've got a couple that we sort of do on rotation that sit in our like extension in our conservatory and we switch them round and they sit there quite nicely. So they work really well. 
And then the other thing that's really good about the Bester units is you can modify the shelving as well. So for example, this is all our board games and I wanted like a smaller shelf for like jigsaw puzzles and things. So you can choose where you put the shelves. If you look down here, you can see. So you can sort of modify them however you want. So I thought that was a nice little shelf for jigsaws. And yeah, I'm a massive fan of these Bester units. So my next favourite IKEA purchase I wanted to show you is this one. This is in our upstairs landing and it's the Billy bookcase. And I again struggled to have something that I could fit here because it's quite a small space and it's quite a narrow hallway if I show you as you can see. So I wanted something that didn't feel overpowering but that we could also put some of the kids like favourite books and things on and the Billy bookcases are brilliant. You can get them in so many different colours, combinations, you can get high ones, you can get low ones, you can get single ones. We had them in our previous house as well and they're just great. I want to say that these two combinations, I think there's two there, well there is two there and they were £45 each so they're really good value they're really good quality again like the best of units you can sort of decide where you want the shelving to go so you can have like more shelves or less shelves but I really like them I like the fact that you can put things on top of them and just sort of make a feature of the bookcase so I've just got some photo frames a reed diffuser a little light that you can't really see at the moment a picture of just a random picture that I haven't put away anywhere else some flowers and then I've got a mixture of like trinkets and books and things on here so it's just really good there's loads of different spaces that you can do and I really really like them I just think they're really good value they look really nice they look really smart it's not too sort of overpowering down the hallway and yeah, they're great. So my next few favourite IKEA purchases are all in my little girl's room. My little girls currently share a bedroom. It's an ice cream themed room. And I will start from the top and work my way around because there's quite a few things in here that are IKEA and that are brilliant. So first up is their picture frames and these are the Mosslander picture frames. They were £5 each and you can get them in all sorts of different colours and sizes as well. And I just struggled originally to know what to do in this space because it's quite a small narrow space. And I didn't want to put any more like particularly like in terms of wallpaper or stickers or anything. And then I decided on the picture ledges and I thought rather than just do a couple I would do them along the whole length of the wall. And I really like it. I think it really looks nice I think it brightens up the room and makes it look really colorful and then I've done sort of like a little reading nook for them down there and the picture frames are great you can actually hold a lot of stuff we used to use them for kids books in our previous house so you can use them for whatever you want if I sort of like come around here you can see that there's quite a thick distance in between each one and they're just perfect they've also got a ridge if you were to put books on them and I just think they're a perfect way of sort of adding trinkets and color and like little kind of memories for them and I really like the fact that they go all the way up the wall but obviously you could just put them at the bottom or just use a couple I've seen people put them over their bed as well which looks really nice but yeah I love them so the next thing I want to talk about in terms of my favorite products is the girls beds but they're really good so they're these big white single beds and what I really liked was they were really simple I like this white headboard and the fact that they can put some little figures and things on the top of it but what I like the most which you'll be able to get with quite a lot of the IKEA beds because I know a lot of them do it is that they have under bed storage so each bed has got two quite big drawers in it and I really like this like they're not actually that filled at the moment because because there's just so much storage but my little girl has got her Winnie the Pooh books and some random things there and it also fits the Kugis boxes in as well so I really liked that aspect but you just get so much space with them and it's just another way like we put books and things in there let me show you around in this one because I think this one's a bit fuller so look I mean it's not very neatly done but she's got all her like football books and things in there and they're really quite deep so you can put a lot of stuff in so the next product in the girls room that I love and this is definitely one of my all-time favorites 
is their Pax wardrobes. And again, when we moved into our house, I was unsure. We looked again at quotes for fitted wardrobes and they were just so expensive. And we decided on the Pax wardrobe system. We also have one in my son's room as well. And they are absolutely brilliant. I cannot rate them enough. And there's again, so many different combinations, sizes, heights. Ours are particularly high ones. And we went into the store to design them because they have really good like designers in store that can help you. Originally we tried doing it online and we just got a little bit confused. So I do recommend going into the store because they can sort of help you out with it. But if I just show you what we've got. So we've got two double wardrobes here, a single wardrobe there and then another double wardrobe. I've actually done a full video on this so I will make sure I link it below if you'd like to watch it. But just to give you sort of a bit of an example, this is the combination that we have in them. So we have a small shelf at the top where we've put the storage boxes which were also from Ikea. Again, everything fits perfectly which is just so satisfying, isn't it? And so then we've got a rail and then if you move down we've got a combination of different drawers. So we went for two metal ones, a glass or plastic fronted one and then a normal drawer and they're just great I mean they're not too clean and they need a bit of a sort out but they're like for example we've got her socks in there her pants and all sort of different kind of clothes and things in there and everything just works so well and fits together so nicely and then if I show you the middle one in the middle one it's sort of like a shared space so we have got again one of those storage boxes at the top got some football boots and then we have got a variety of different things in here again these little boxes come from ikea everything fits perfectly so we've got like hairbands sunglasses jewelry and then as you go down we've got shoes we've got boxes for their shoes down there so again in my eldest daughters we've got exactly the same thing we've got her clothes rail and then if you go down we've got all the different drawers as well so again in my son's room we've got a very similar setup we've got a smaller pax wardrobe but it's the white one and we've got a kind of quite similar combination in there as well i will just quickly show you so again he hasn't got the shelf at the top but he's got his clothes rail and then if we go down He's got all his drawers and things. And so again, it will just grow with him as he gets bigger. It can just be something that he can keep until he's older. And I just can't see us ever needing to replace it because it's just really good quality and it's just got so much different storage as well. So the last bit of IKEA storage that I love and wanted to show you was in our understairs cupboard. The kids use this as a bit of a den, which is very random, and it's a little bit grubby in here, but it's the good old Kallax storage. And like I said, so many people have this storage. It's just brilliant. We had it all over our last house, but I just fancied a change in our new one. So a lot of our Kallax units are now in the garage. They're perfect for storing stuff in the garage. I won't show you in there because it is so messy, but we have got one in our understairs cupboard because it's just really good it's perfect for shoes so it's got all our different shoes in it we've split the shoes into each person apart from my son who's only got a couple of pairs of shoes so it doesn't matter and then we've got some storage boxes on the top that we put the girls school bags in and it's just a really great way of keeping it a little bit neater before we had this in here basically all our shoes were just completely covering the floor. So it's just a good way of keeping it a little bit neater. And you can get the Kallax storage again in all different colors, sizes, combinations, all sorts of different drawers. You can have fabric drawers, you can have actual kind of doors. And yeah, it's just great. I'm such a fan of the Kallax storage. And that is it. That is my favorite IKEA purchases and also my favorite like organizational and storage furniture from there as well. We do have more in our house but they are my main favorites and thank you so much for watching this video. I will make sure that I try and link as much as I can below and thank you for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye!